When determining domain and range of given functions, if we have graphs, all we're going to do is take a look at the movement from the x and the movement in the y. So I'm going to use my green highlighter here, and I'm just going to map out basically where my graph exists for my x's. So taking a look at the first graph, I see that this far left point at x equals negative 2 is about as far as it goes to the left. So I'm just going to go ahead and highlight right down there for my x's. So I know that the furthest to the left it's going to go is that negative 2 point. Then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take a look at the graph and I'm going to see how far to the right it goes. I'm going to go ahead and highlight that as well. Now, taking a look at those, I'm just identifying domain and range in words right now. I would say that the domain of this function, and remember we always go from small to large, so in this case left to right, I would say that the graph starts at negative 2, and it goes through, because it actually hits that point, 3. So negative 2 through positive 3. So again, left to right. Now let's go ahead and change the highlighter to the same idea, but let's use pink instead. So now I'm going to be doing my range. Whenever I'm doing my range, I'm looking from low to high. So if I look down here, it looks like that's about as low as it's going to go. And then I take a look at the high point, and it's not the end point, it's where the, the height that the graph actually attains. So here I would say that my range, again, going low to high, my range is going to go start at negative 3. Again, I'm looking at y values. And it is through, well, it looks like the height there is positive 3. So there's my domain and range for the first one. Let's take a look over at the other one. So this next graph over here, I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to take a look at the x's, and I think I'm just going to go ahead and use the same color for x's. So furthest to the left, I see that closed dot there, so I would say about there is as far as it goes to the left. But to the right, I see this arrow up here, which means that thing is going to continue on towards the right, the largest pos possible positive real numbers I can imagine. So identifying my domain and range, same way. My domain on this one, well, it's going to be the furthest to the left, and that is going to be, looks like negative 3. And I'm not going to say through infinity, because you can't really get to infinity. I'm just going to say that it's going to get to infinity. So it's going to keep working towards those large positive values. All right, now let's do the same thing for the range that we did before. I used pink, so let's go ahead and use pink again. And it looks like as low as it goes is still that point. But as high as it goes is still that arrow. So since it looks like this thing is going to just keep going on and on forever in the positive direction, I know that my range, well, always low to high or small to big. The lowest it's going to go is that negative 2 for a y value. And then it's going to go off to positive infinity.